I want to build a dresser for the kids, but the drawers for a dresser require a lot of wood. So I want to use this piece, which is from a table that had been kept outside and it was on the curb. But I think if I plane this down a bit, the wood is going to look not too bad. And I still had quite a bit of excess thickness after that, so the boards ended up looking alright. And the length was just right to make two drawer sides. These will be the sides of my drawers. These pieces are from resawed 2x6s and glued together to be the backs. Now I still need the fronts. I just cut up these pieces to length, and if I resaw those, I think I'd be able to glue all the fronts together out of those. And I'll resaw those starting with the table saw to put a slot on either side. There's two pieces, except I made a mistake. I didn't set the table saw fence right, so this piece is too thin. Whoops. So one of my fronts is wide enough, the other four I'll have to glue together out of two pieces each. Next I'm cutting some box joints into the back corners of the side pieces. And as usual, I'm cutting these box joints with a regular blade, not a dado blade, because just taking a few passes with a box joint jig is fast enough. Now I need to attach the front of the drawers to here. And the logical thing to do would be to cut some kind of a slot or a dovetail for this to fit into here, but I don't like that approach because a slot here basically pretty much cuts this part off. I much prefer a small series of slots that go this way. This is the uh, back corner of the drawer sides and this will be the front. And on here I want to put a tenon every three quarters of an inch. These ones are quarter inch tenons every half inch. But for these I need to have a half inch in between. And I'm afraid that I might miscount the turns on my jig. So I marked on here where I need to cut. Uh, when this lines up with a blue tick on here, I need to make a cut. And these aren't very accurately marked. I'm just using that to make sure I don't lose the turn count. The actual precise position will be determined by the crank handle and also when this faces the gear here. Got my tenons cut at the right spacing, but I was so worried about getting the spacing wrong, I forgot to check the depth of cut. Uh, these are too deep, which means my drawers will now be a quarter inch less deep than I had planned, because I'll have to cut off the ends of these. I'd also cut box joints into the ends of the longer back pieces, and I'm using those box joints to mark where the mortises need to go in the front piece, so the front and back will be the same width. I have a counter wheel at the top of my slot mortiser to make sure I don't lose count of the turns for adjusting between mortises for this one. If I was chopping these mortises with hand tools, uh, I would think twice about putting a mortise right into a knot in the wood, but with a slot mortise or with a router in it, no problem. The fit was a little bit too tight, so I used my strip sander to thin those tenons a little bit. I do that quite often, actually. Yeah, 
And I screwed up a little bit. Of the 80 mortises I cut, this one was off by one screw turn. So I had to cut a bit off the tenon to make it fit in there, and now I have a gap here. The logical thing to do would be to glue the backs on in this orientation, but then all the glue drips would end up on the rest of the drawer. So I'm gluing it together lying flat on my workbench instead. And here's a table saw sheet good trick just for the safety trolls. Just an aside, these pieces all have an R marked on them here, 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 and here. And R for me means reference surface. That's the side that went against the fence in the box joint jig and also against the table on the uh, slot mortiser. And I have to keep those sides together to make sure all these things line up. I always line up the drawer's edges with the bottom edges. That way I can make sure the drawer is actually square in the end. I'm also adding a small lip to extend the front down below the bottom. This is important because the bottom will inevitably sag a little bit, and if the bottom is the lowest part of the drawer, it'll rub against the next drawer below it. But if the front extends down a little bit beyond the bottom, that won't happen. I ran out of plywood for the drawer bottoms, so I'm gluing together three offcuts to make the last one. I want a nice veneer to go in the front of the drawers, and I'm going to try to saw five layers out of this one piece of oak. I'm not sure if that'll work. I am jointing the board flat between passes. That way my veneer layers will always have one side that's plain. Got my five layers out of it. Unfortunately, that knot got a bit worse as I went along. I'm using a scrap of carpet as a soft pad for the veneer. That way I get even pressure even if the veneer isn't entirely smooth. I can only glue up one of these at a time, but that's okay, I got other things to do. It seems to be fashionable for YouTubers to get sponsored by Total Boat these days and then use gobs and gobs of epoxy to fill in defects and stuff like that. But I'm old fashioned that way, so I'm making a plug to fill it. I'm using a dark piece of mahogany to fill that in, that way the knot will still show up because in three of the veneers, the knot stayed in place. So here's my five drawers. Now I know exactly how big I need to make the cabinets. Unfortunately, I put the veneer on one of them backwards. And building that cabinet will be my next video.